simple fundamental mechanics. Like we talked about earlier, I mentioned that it's really important that you don't want to have backswing in your pass, right? So when I say backswing, I mean you want to try not to be picking the ball up, pulling it backwards, and then passing. Because every second that you waste doing that, the defense has an opportunity to come up and take away time and space from your attack. So I like to put the ball up against the wall as close as I can. So now I can't backswing. Right, so now I can do the same thing. I can line them up against the wall. I can take it one at a time. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that now if I backswing, I'm pretty screwed. <laughs> right? So I want to get set in here, nice and easy, get low, and fire it away. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Yeah? All right, cool. I hope it works. There we go. Um, <laughs> all right, so now, obviously, this, that stuff that I just went through is a bit contrived, right? It's, um, you know, you talk to any scrum ref, they'll tell you that that never happens in a game that you ever get clean ball like that. The argument, though, is that obviously those are the skills you want to develop. You want to foster the basic good skills. But then you also, of course, want to look at situations that happen more often than not when you get into, you know, they walk into a ruck and there's legs and there's arms and there's people and there's everything else. Right? So I, when I was a kid, I, you know, with my coaches and whoever else was there, they went down the junkyard and picked up some tires. And I just stuck a ball in a tire and kind of just the same thing, like three tires in a row, whatever it was, just ran up, pulled the ball out of a tire, and fired it. If you don't have tires, you can use pads. Tackle shields work just as well. Hit shields work just as well. Um, bags, if you don't even have hit shields, you can just use bags, you know, t-shirts, whatever. Just throw things on top of the ball and make that guy's life difficult to try to get the ball out of there. Yes? Okay, you, it's on the ground, you can stop your backswing with your foot. How do I show my player no backswing when the ball is off the ground? Like so, that's, so that's what I'm going to talk about now. So um, obviously, yeah, it's going to be a little different when there's bodies and there's junk and there's all kinds of other things in this big pile up. So, now, I don't know, wherever Nigel is, he can correct me on this if you'd like, but you know, there's basically, I think, two philosophies to how to approach that situation. One is simply getting yourself set as I was, and literally, where's the, just come on here. So literally, if this is it, and I'm kind of cleaning up a mess or whatever it is, if I just kind of throw a bag or a new jacket or this, just throw a jacket on top of it for now, you know. So if I'm just in there, and that's kind of obstructing me, passing it straight away forward, Right, I'm, I'm, I come in, I'm set. I want to try to stay in this position because, again, every step I waste and take is taking away time and space from the team. So in this situation, I want to try to pick straight up and fly away as best as I can. Right, as best as I can, I'm going to try not to move, try to stay strong, pull it up, and push it away. Right? Now, there's another argument for the little <coughs> hop step and pass. I'm okay either way. I don't know. I guess, again, it depends on preference, depends on coaches, whatever you guys like. If your scrum half is athletic, quick enough, what have you, to get in there, pull it out real quick, and fire it away as quick as possible, <coughs> fair play. You know what I mean? Game on. However he can or she can to get the ball away from this messy situation as best as they can is what's conducive to the rest of the team. Make sense? Agreed? Yeah? All right. So, you know, that's something that you can just set tires up kind of anywhere. You know, you can move them around the field in different directions, kind of have your scrum half change angles, take different lines, different footwork, different approaches onto it. Something else I've got here is uh, I do another little bit of footwork drill. So there's a three cone drill that I've set up. So in this situation, I'm just going to set up a little grid right here. If there's cones in that 